Hey Leah, what are we doing right now? We're calling our pizza winners. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Do I text him? <laughs> call, Two, call him again. One. Pick up, pick up. <laughs> This teaches you about phone banking right here. Yeah. <laughs> Folks didn't answer. So the strategy there is to call them back immediately. <laughs> and if they don't answer, then we text them a very nice text, hoping that they think it's really us. <laughs> oh, oh, Hannah's texting back. <gasps> yes. What is this regarding? <laughs> what should I say? Uh, Pizza emoji? Yeah. <laughs> Oh oh oh, 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 Hey, Hannah. Hi. Uh, hey, Father Greg. Yes. Hey, this is Mike Schmuel. I'm Mayor Pete's campaign manager in South Bend. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> I wanted to just uh, give you a quick call and let you know that you won the Pizza with Pete contest. I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming to South oh Bend. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't win anything. You don't win a lot of contests? <laughs> well, I don't enter a lot of contests. <laughs> Maybe you should enter more contests. <laughs> Hannah. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I won pizza with Pete. And this is my best friend, Rose. Hi! I just graduated from Emory University in May in Atlanta, Georgia, and I recently moved back home to LA, and I'm working at a law firm. Oh, that's Fiddler's. Ah! We went there. Oh, that's so fun. Look at the I Love South Bend. We both were born and raised in LA, so this is definitely our first time in a Midwestern town. We went to Fiddler's last night for dinner, um, which we hear is was Pete and Chaston's first date spot. So we went on our first date in South Bend. In South Bend. <laughs> is this your first time in South Bend? Oh yeah, for me, yes. I never expected to win. I didn't believe it. I had to kind of pinch myself, and I began to call my friends and tell them I think I won this this opportunity to meet Mayor Pete. I'm Father Greg, so I now live in Philadelphia. My name's Hildegard. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was so excited when he called me and told me, yes, he did. And then, of course, I told my family, and they were excited. All of Philadelphia knows about me. Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> I'm Hannah. Really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry for cursing off. Okay. <laughs> Almost nice to your card. <laughs> I want to be able to talk to him about things that matter, a clear understanding of what he is really all about. I went to high school with people. I think we're all subject to our upbringing. This is where you took root. So there's something special about this place to make such a special person. When there are people that we view as leaders or mentors, it's easy to just see them as kind of removed. It's very rare that we ever get to meet them. Pizza order number 23. Pizza order 023. I'm beyond excited. I I'm just amazing. I want. Me too. I don't know. I think that's the only entrance. If it comes from this way, I'll let you know. This place is fun, it's an empanada place. Argentinian family opened this up. We're on the Jefferson Street Bridge in South Bend. So excited to have pizza, maybe a beer, and visit with friends. I'm looking forward to talking with our guests about what the campaign means to them, uh, how they got involved, why they decided to be supporters, and uh, learn a little bit more about what they think is important. That's cool, they're celebrating 50 years. I didn't know that. Pizza order for Pete, pizza order for Pete. So Good. we have a pepperoni, a right. cheese, and a veggie. Good stuff. You might come through the kitchen. Right. I would assume they're going to take him around now. Because, yeah, I'm sure he can't. We'll just walk in. Pizza is served. Oh my Howdy. God. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Smith, how are you? Welcome to South Bend. Thank you. Anybody want a beer? Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Nice. So you're pretty busy these days. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we asked for it. It's a good That's thing. Okay.
You look younger than on TV. You know that. Hopefully that's a good thing. <laughs> and I don't understand why you would even want to take on all of these. <laughs> I mean, number one, if the economy is bad, the country is divided. Another problem you'll have to do. Want me to keep going? <laughs> it's just calling. I gotta make myself useful here, right? Were there little moments in your life that made you want to be the person you are today? When I was a teenager, I didn't understand that politics was something I could actually do. It was something I cared about, but it didn't cross my mind that I could actually participate. It felt like a world that just wasn't for me, and then somehow I realized maybe it actually was. I think people are pulling back from politics. It is kind of people just talking at you with their plans and different agendas. I feel like Pete is completely the opposite. He wants to hear what you have to say. I have a question for you. Yeah. I did ask Mayor Pete how he would appeal to minority groups to support him. And he answered me. I've got a few ideas, but I'd love to hear yours too. <laughs> Which one of us should go first? <laughs> and I told him, you're gonna to have to be present in the churches where the minorities are and he agreed. You gotta get in front of folks, you gotta go to the churches, go to the communities. For every event we do that's visible, we'll do something behind closed doors with pastors or activists off the record and just have a really frank conversation. You have to bring us together. Yeah. And I yeah. think you can. I think, yeah. I think you have the spirit and the guts to do it. I'm quite hopeful. One of my favorites, I, I think I can show you in a little bit, is our river lights. Uh, so yes, we public heard about thing. the river light river show. Lights. Yes. This is a really important couple blocks for us because this is really where the city meets the river. There's this this cascade, this waterfall, oh, and yes. that bank of lights over by that building under construction illuminates them, and it can paint them in different colors. So this is a great thing that we could do that didn't involve a very a lot of physical stuff. And there's a park there. Three of my favorite things, pizza, beer, and sharing my city, and a chance to do it with really lovely people. They were uh, sharing their own stories, their experiences. I think took a lot of interest in our hometown and how it fits into the bigger picture. Well, there's a lot of South Bends out there. It's part of, part of why I'm running. South Bend has a lot of lessons for America, how the experience of getting things done on the ground, serving a diverse community like this, uh, bears on what's going to be needed in the highest office in the land. It's just remarkable. Yeah, I'll be happy to see my own eyes the work that you've accomplished because you're a doer. So we haven't been able to vote for very long. Now we're in this stage where we're able to vote and able to make our informed political decisions. And here is this candidate that is brilliant and genuine and humble and truly believes in a better future. He is able to bring humanity back to politics. You keep up the good work. Well, we're proud of this place. We should be. I came here looking for somebody who would be a healer. And I think he possesses the gifts to, to heal a nation that's so sorely divided at this time. It was clear that we share that same sense of where our country needs to go. He was just another person, someone who really wants to make the nation a better place. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you. And God bless your family. Same too. to you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Thank you so much. To be able to be in this in intimate setting, literally eating pizza with Pete, which is the most simple pleasure in life, I think. Yeah. <laughs> bread and um, cheese. With bread and cheese. cheese. <laughs> it's just, it's perfect. Well, I wanted to eat the whole pizza, but I wanted to be cute because Mayor Pete was there, but boy, was it delicious.